playing around with a bit of the light switch because that that re relates to this film that we're talking about here today. Um, Richard Linklater has done a lot of movies. His range is quite interesting, but one of the most com one of the most common movies that he usually does are hangout movies, like that usually take place within like a day or overnight or something. But there's one film he's made, one that really interested me, and that seems completely different from any other. That's that seems to be different from any other film that I've seen from him. Counting this film, I've only seen two, so that may not be, that may not be a fair comparison. But, uh, whatever. That is, Waking Life. Uh, this rotoscope animated film premiered at Sundance in two thousand one. Um, this uh, I don't know where to start. This is just such a really complex movie that has a lot of themes within it that are not like are are, are touched upon in films like these, but not in this kind of way that I see. Uh. It's definitely abstract. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Oh yeah, there was some really great acting from the the main actor. Hold on, what was his name? I, I, he was like really good in this. Um, oh, Wiley Wiggins. Yeah, that's his name. Um, he was previously um, on one of Linklater's earlier films, Dazed, Dazed and Confused, which I do want to check out sometime. Um, but he does a fantastic job with um, being the main character. Uh, there was a cameo by Steven Soderbergh talking about Billy Wilder. Uh, that was really cool. Ethan Hawke and Julie Delphi show up, uh, which is really cool to see. Um, I like I like to think this is a little teaser for um, before sunset, uh, but it was just great seeing them talk. It, they still have their kind of dialogue esque moments from uh, before sunrise. Some of the cameos are one of them. I'm not going to get into. It's 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 a big can be. It's now kind of controversial, but um, we're not talking about that. We're here to talk about how amazing this film is. Something else that's amazing about uh, Waking Life is the music. I just love the kind of French or the kind of violin music they were playing as well as like that little piano melody you hear throughout a bit of the film. Like, um, throughout certain moments. Uh, of course I can't play it, but um, it's a really, it's simple, but it's a really sweet melody. The rotoscoped animation is just, it's great. Seeing this trippy kind of drug-like animation on here was really nice. I just love seeing how the backgrounds kind of moved. They were like being, uh, kind of moving along. <laughs> that was really cool seeing. And there are some moments that really did um, stick with me, like, that I still think about, even after watching, like, um, the little monologue from the guy uh, talking about, like, how, like, ch checking the light thing is something you can't do in a dream. And that really fantastic monologue given to, by yours truly, Richard Linklater. There are just some like really great moments of dialogue and a lot of great monologues throughout this film. It's, you know, a review like this isn't gonna do it justice. I really want you to check out Waking Life because this film is gonna surprise you in a lot of ways. Like, just watch it. I, it's much better than watching this review here because you're definitely gonna get a better insight um, from this film alone. 